The distributed load on the 7 foot beam is given by the curve y equals x squared plus 2x. I want to know what the equivalent point load is and where the point of application is. So I know that the magnitude of the equivalent point load is always the area under the load intensity diagram. So if I want to find the area under a curve, I'm going to differentiate. I've got the integral from 0 to 7 of my function x squared plus 2x dx. You integrate that, you get x cubed over 3 plus x squared from 0 to 7 because that's how long your beam is. That gives you 163.33. I'm going to assume that these are units are in pounds since we're dealing with English units. Now the second part of my question is where does it act? The point of application of this equivalent point load is, as always, the centroid of the load intensity diagram. So I know that a centroid is the integral of x dA over the integral of dA. In this case, I'm going to use a nice vertical rectangle to do my integration. Its width is dx, and its height is going to be equal to y. So dA is equal to x squared plus 2x dx. Now, the denominator there is the integral of dA, which is the integral from 0 to 7 of x squared plus 2x dx, which I just did. This is your equivalent point load magnitude, 163.33. So my centroid is the integral from 0 to 7 of x times x squared plus 2x dx divided by 163. That gives me x to the fourth over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 from 0 to 7 divided by 163. That is 5.08. So I have on my beam 163 pounds at 5.08 feet away from the wall. 